Welcome to another resource video by Fresno State's Graduate Writing Studio. My name is Greta Bell, and today we'll be talking about the Oxford comma. Alternatively called the serial comma, the Oxford comma is used before the last item in a list and is intended to avoid misunderstandings. The Oxford comma is often talked about as being a stylistic preference, something a writer needs to decide to either use or avoid. However, this debate is somewhat misleading, as many major citation styles like APA, MLA, and Turabian specifically call for its use. This begs the question, why is the Oxford comma so often labeled as unnecessary, even by those using a citation style that recommends it? To answer that question, let's first look at why proponents of the Oxford comma, like myself, feel it is so necessary. Let's consider the following sentence. Amy went to lunch with her parents, Heather, and Mark. If this sentence is saying that Amy and her parents, whose names are Heather and Mark, went and had lunch together, then the sentence is fine. But if the sentence is trying to list the people Amy had lunch with, being her parents, and two more people, Heather and Mark, then omitting the comma before the and in this list creates ambiguity. In order for it to be clear to the reader that Amy is meeting up with her parents, and two others for lunch, the Oxford comma is necessary. Not every list you write is going to need the Oxford comma to be clear, but consistency in academic writing is important, so if you use it anywhere in your paper, it should be used everywhere. For this reason, I recommend to always use it when you're writing lists of three or more items. This brings us back to our earlier question, why is the Oxford comma often labeled as unnecessary? In my opinion, the answer is that lists are often overused, and sentences can be rewritten to avoid the use of the Oxford comma entirely. For example, it's possible to rewrite the sentence about who attended lunch with Amy to clear up any potential misunderstanding without adding that extra comma. If we rewrite the sentence, Amy went to lunch with her parents, Heather and Mark, to have a little more detail, so it reads instead, Amy and her parents met with Heather and Mark for lunch, then we've restructured the sentence to avoid the list and therefore to avoid the use of the Oxford comma. This makes for a stronger sentence than in the example where all we did was add the Oxford comma. So, while I recommend always using the Oxford comma when writing lists, lists are not always the best way to deliver information. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. To schedule a writing appointment, call or email us today.